One question. Are you interested in entrepreneurship? And do you ever had the question that you should maybe study something with informatics, but you're not sure if you should study computer science or maybe you should better study business information technology? Let's start with the different types of entrepreneurship. So you can be an investor as an entrepreneur, you can be a small business entrepreneur, you can be also a so-called intrapreneur, but I think in your case, you definitely wanna be a so-called intrapreneur in technology. And in my opinion, I think it doesn't matter if you study computer science or if you study business information technology, in both cases, those study will definitely help you to understand how the work of information technology works, what are the trends, how does the future looks like, what kind of skills, what kind of management, what kind of innovation do we need and in which way does our society goes with the help of information systems. In my opinion, if you study computer science, it is a little bit more difficult than business information technology because during your studies, you have to focus yourself more on the scientific way of the information technology, which is not the same way you would learn it in business information technology studies, because during those studies in business information technology, you just have to understand how we can use this technology, but you don't have to understand much, in my own opinion, the scientific approach behind it. So in this case, if you wanna be an entrepreneur in the field of technology, maybe you should definitely decide to study computer science. So I would like to give a point for the computer science field. So the next point is called the personality in entrepreneurship, which is also really important. So you have to ask yourself, what type of personality am I? And I think this is the kind of communication you have to make with yourself. There is nobody who can truly help you to understand yourself only by focusing what kind of interests do I have, what kind of strengths do I have, what kind of vision do I have. So in the field of entrepreneurship, you will have to face different personalities. So some people have the urgency to be an innovator. Those type of people are driven by ideas, those people are driven by the vision, those people want to create something which hasn't been created before. So if you're the type of person who has the same drive, then you are definitely an innovator. But you don't have to be somebody like Elon Musk, for example. You can be also a so-called opportunist. So an entrepreneur who is more in the way of opportunist, those type of people are asking the question, what kind of problem does our world has and how can we solve this problem? Those people see the world a little bit different than the innovator because the opportunist says that the world isn't perfect and as long as the world isn't perfect there is also always chances to solve problems so if you're more somebody who is like more driven by solving problem with the help of the technology which also already existed then maybe you are an, an opportunist so which way you should decide in this case should you study computer science or maybe you should study business information technology so from my, from my own experience i can tell you that i go to an economic school here in berlin and i can tell you that from my own experience that the economic field is always closely working with the so-called economic uh, psychology and e economic psychology is a really important part which helps people to achieve their goals so even during my studies I also had to make a, a small course in economic psychology which has been called a little bit different but the outcome behind it is the same so you would have like some kind of sessions where you have to ask questions yourself where do you come from what is my drive what kind of strengths do i have and what kind of vision do i have and in my own experience this economic school puts a lot of effort to not only educate the students but also help them 
to get into management positions for the future. So that is the reason why I think that when it comes to personality entrepreneurship and if you want to learn how to be a strong personality as an entrepreneur, maybe you should decide to go to a business school like I do. So in this case, I would say I would like to give the point to the business information technology. And the last point, and this is I think like the, one of the biggest reasons why you should maybe decide to study business information technology if you have the interest to be entrepreneur, is the community. So as an entrepreneur, in my own opinion, you have to learn people who can think outside the box because as an entrepreneur you have to see the world different than the normal consumer so in the world of economics we in germany say that there are let's say it sounds a little bit bad but i still say it there are two of type of peoples so the first type of people is called human and the other type of people is so called the economist so the reason for it is that an economist sees the world a little bit different than the normal consumer because the economist is driven by innovation, he's driven to solve problems, he's driven by the ideas and he's also of course driven to make the life for others as comfortable as possible while making profits. Especially in the economic field it is also important to have good connections so if you want to be an entrepreneur you are heavily dependent on good connections you are heavily dependent to know the right people you, know, you have to know what kind of hands do you have to shake with the right people in the right positions because you're gonna definitely have it easier to make a dream to make a vision come true as an end result in my own opinion it would be better to study business information technology if you want to be an entrepreneur because 50% of your uh, studies are facing informatical topics, the other 50% are facing economic topics and I think this is a balanced mix which is definitely needed to understand on how can I run a company